Hey guys, this is Euro Truck Simulator. I was told to try this game. A little loud, a little loud. I was told to try this game, uh, so I thought maybe I would, um, sure. I thought maybe I would try it. And I've, I've played it a little bit already for a few minutes. Actually, <laughs> probably for a few hours. Um, and I don't really understand it. I'm only level 3. I don't get a lot of everything about it. But, I will just kind of give you a, a basic idea of what we're doing here. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Yes. Yes, I will take that job. <laughs> Making the money. This is, it's an interesting game. It's actually kind of fun. I, I, I can play this. I can play this. I don't have a, uh, a wheel, so, hmm, how do I, where's the exit, wait, is there, no, i probably go back to there, though, alright, let's do that, I don't have a, uh, a wheel that, you know, steer the truck with, I'm using my keyboard, but, um, nevertheless, it's actually a kind of fun game. And I don't know why I have two mirrors up here. There we go. Not needed if I'm driving in this view. I uh, don't really pay a lot of attention to traffic. I just kind of pull out. And uh, if I get hit, then I guess that's what it's meant to be. Oh look, there was no one there anyway. <laughs> it's a pretty decent game. I never, I never wanted to get it because it was Euro Truck Simulator. I had no interest in Euro Trucks. I wanted, uh, if, if there were like an American truck simulator, maybe, maybe. Actually, I just thought of a game I would really like to try. Repossession Simulator. That would be freaking awesome. You gotta deal with people like, you know, 90% of the time you just take the car and go, but you gotta deal with people like, gets real angry with you and maybe pulls a gun. That would be freaking awesome. If that doesn't exist, someone should make it. I'm gonna look it up when I get done with this game. Probably about the time I go to editing and realize, oh yeah, I forgot all about saying that. I'm going to go look it up. So anyways, I was told that you get tickets on this game. If you don't stop at stop signs, or if you speed, stuff like that. Um, I, I, I don't know. I haven't received any tickets that I know of. Maybe they come later on in the game. I don't know. I'm only level 3. I, I love how I said that as I was running the stop sign. That's kind of what I do. So, playing this game almost makes me want to get a steering wheel. <laughs> Just because it would be so more realistic. That would be so awesome. These little trucks are really hard to control. I have the world's slowest signal. Try not to lose too much speed, because, you know, these things are hard to speed back up. I always heard they were hard to stop. No, it's, it's just speeding back up is the problem. So, my goal is, is I'm going to uh, play this, and I'm going to split it up into each drive is a different clip. And, uh, so hopefully, hopefully this will be a liked series on YouTube. I have no limit to how much I can upload, you know, I can go as many hours as I'd like, so I think I'll, uh, I think I'll do that, because I know that there's this one mission, this guy I was watching yesterday, I think he was like level 14, which isn't far from where I'm at, to be honest, um, and his took, his took over an hour, so I'm not sure how long this one's going to take, it actually pays quite a bit of money, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's a decent route. You know, you got your mirrors, you can watch, you can drive like NASCAR like I do in real life and kind of, you know, just use, take advantage of the whole road instead of just one lane. I mean, I got mirrors, I can see if anybody's coming up behind me that, you know, can't do this. <laughs> but, um, how was my gas? Okay. Usually, sometimes I've noticed they'll give you a truck with no gas and you're just like, of course, I mean, you know, they cover your gas expenses. It's not like it's a big deal. It's just an inconvenience that you have to stop and get gas, but who really cares? 
so I've got full gas. I don't know. Can we stop it? Seems like we're going slow for some reason, that's for sure. Cutting you off. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't cutting anyone off. Why did they slow down? Now they speed up, and I can't get catch back up with them. So now you see what it's like driving a semi-truck. I've got it in super easy mode. You know, there's no... There's no, um... Uh, it's automatic shifting. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. There's like four modes you can go in, and I was going to look into like the second level, but I decided not to. So. Oh, hey. One left here. <laughs> I hate it when roads do that. See, they don't do that in America. You get, you get proper notification that the lane is ending in America. And in Europe, or wherever I'm at, no. They're just like, we think we're going to end this lane without telling you. Look. It's going to happen again. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I thought it was going to. So there's a rest area, but I'm nowhere near needing to rest right now. Car coming up on me. I need to stay out of that lane. I have found a truck that I like, and ironically, it's the same truck that um, the YouTuber I was watching. I can't remember his YouTube name. I would tell you. I mean, it's not that I'm trying to keep it a secret or anything. Um, usually, YouTuber I was watching last night played this game. Um, he, he, he had this one truck he liked, and, and I drove it today, and actually it was a really nice truck, so um, I will probably put that as my favorite. I like uh, the idea that he gave me, uh, which is passing on the shoulder. That's a nice thing to do sometimes, um, because, you know, who cares? And, uh, F you, that's why. <laughs> um, so yeah, passing on the shoulder is a thing that you can do if you're a good driver. As long as you don't wreck, as long as you don't get tickets, as long as you get to your destination on time, um, it works out. So that's my goal. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to have to take a, an exit which is, why would they do that? I hope this becomes, like, you know, something that becomes available later on in the game when I'm, you know, advanced or something. I hope it's not like that the whole game, where it's marked off and you just simply can't go there. I would much rather it be, like Grand Theft Auto, for example, something I can explore later, rather than something I have to not explore ever and it just be there. So yeah. There are different views, but I prefer this one. Um, just because it's it's so much better. Uh, except for when I'm backing the trailer, I usually change views to something else, but you know, for the most part, this is the view that I choose. Let's see try and look and see here. Uh, we got 433 miles to go. Should take us about 11 hours. It takes a couple of seconds for one minute in this game, so it's really not that, uh, it's really not that. I won't be here for 11 hours, I promise. And I usually in America, whoa, okay, I was going to merge. I was going to merge and I didn't look. <laughs> Uh, usually in America, I was going to say, we move over to allow the people to merge on the inter interstate here. But uh, but also in America, we don't look in our mirrors and we cut people off. So I guess there's a huge difference there. <laughs> oh, jeez. So yeah, that was my main reason for not wanting this game. Because it was a Euro simulator. I wanted, like, you know, something else. Which got me onto my tow truck simulator, which... I swear, I hope that's a game. I really want to get it. I will I will buy it tonight. If it's a game, I'll buy it. Repossession Simulator. And if it is not a game, someone needs to make it. I don't know, I'm just a little obsessed with that. There's this guy on YouTube named Repo Nut. I've been watching him for a very long time. And, uh, well, actually, it's been about a year now. And I really enjoy watching his videos. It's just, it's neat. Even though nothing really exciting ever happens, 
it's real, and that's what I like about it. It's not uh, Operation Repo, let's stage a scene the entire episode, nothing is real. No, it's completely real, and that's what I like about it. So, that's, I don't know, it just interests me. I'd make a great repo guy. I need to go get a job doing that. I don't have a job right now, so that'd be perfect for me. It would be a job I would love. It's, it's almost like being a cop, but not really. Like, being a cop is, uh, you know, you're introduced with something new every day. One day is never the same. And, uh, you know, you, you, there's always a new challenge. I couldn't, I don't think I could be a cop because of my vision. I don't even know if I could be a repo driver <laughs> for, because of my vision, to be honest. But, um, you know, I've already, I've already kind of, you know, accepted the fact that I don't have a chance of being a cop, even if I wanted to. But, um, a repo driver, it's not, it's not as fast paced and, and crazy as being a cop, I would say. But there are still times when things are, you know, you get a new something happening all the time. Like, you're, you know, no, no repo should ever be the same. And it's not, obviously. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm crazy. I knew. I knew I was crazy. I didn't need you guys to tell me that. This game is pretty realistic, because you can see I'm going uphill now, and, uh, I'm getting past. So I'm going to move over in my lane. <laughs> I'll move over in my slow lane, and, uh, and now I'm going to go downhill, and now I'm going to run this guy over. It's pretty realistic. I downloaded 18 wheels of steel, but I had some trouble installing it for some reason, so I'll go try that again later. I tried before starting this one. And then I thought, well, I want to go do a gameplay video right quick, because I haven't done these in like a year. Okay, it's been a while. Not a year. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go do that. I used to do gameplay videos until I went to the beach, and it was at the beach that I decided the gameplay videos didn't get enough response, enough positive attitude from people that... I wanted to continue them, so I didn't. Um, Sim City, or yeah, Sim City, got really boring really fast, and um, I've still got friends that message me every day. Hey, let's go play. No, no interest. It was great for the first few days, but that game definitely was not worth eighty dollars. Um, between all the problems and issues, I think that just it got me so frustrated with even wanting to play that I just lost interest altogether. It seemed like everything, to me, it seemed like everything was way too easily achieved. You know, you could you could make a city and be successful. Where did you come from? Gosh, <laughs> you could make a city and be successful, um, but uh, you know, easily by doing basically nothing and. I made several successful cities. There was only one city I failed on, and that was because uh, it was a city my friend had made. He made a nuclear reactor expo explode, and uh, so yeah, nobody ever wanted to live there. <laughs> That's the only city I ever failed on. But um, easily achieved. The great works. I, I had a great work in like you know the first few days of play. So it just I don't know. Just didn't serve a purpose to me. That car seemed to be coming over, so they need to slow down. <laughs> Maybe they'll film me here again. So yeah, it's pretty realistic. I like it. This game. Not SimCity. SimCity was stupid. EA just proved to us that they're only gonna keep continuing this whole always on DRM bullcrap that ruins the game for everyone, and, uh, and I probably won't buy another EA game. I, I was strongly, you know, I had said to everyone I was going to pre-order GTA 5. That's my, that's what I'm going to do. I told everyone this, but, um, after this experience with EA, I'm just hoping that Rockstar doesn't copy them and try to do the always on DRM thing. Oh my gosh! I did not look at my mirror. That's the third time in this video I've done that. Did you guys see that? I could have stayed in that lane. I mean, I don't think it's, a, you know, I don't think it's against the law to stay in that lane anyway. 
That car, he dropped way back. He's like, okay, I'm not getting run over by that thing. So I think we've proven that I cannot talk and drive at the same time. <laughs> uh, speed limit's 80, but uh, my truck won't go past 55, apparently. Oh, now it's 50, but I am not slowing down. Okay, I'm slowing down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's it's green. It's green. Keep going. It was like red light, only not it's green. I do need this lane eventually, so I'm gonna go ahead and move over. Or do I? I think the road just kind of twists on around. Oh, it's a roundabout. Go in the roundabout. made me think I hit something, but it was just my brakes. Hey, wake up. Oh, now Team Speaks yelling at me. That's great. Getting these things going is really hard. Okay. Hey, I don't need sound effects. It has sound effects. I don't think I could drive an 18-wheeler in real life. I, I Maybe an automatic 18-wheeler, but I would be so occupied on trying to figure out how to change the gears that I would not pay attention to anything else. And I feel like an 18-wheeler is something you need to pay a lot of attention to because you you take up three car lengths, if not four, and you're, you know, <laughs> you're a danger to people if you don't know what you're doing. And I definitely would not know what I'm doing. We got 322 miles to go. This might be a little bit longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Speed limit's 110. Yeah, let me just move over in this lane because that's not going to happen. I'm only going to do half of that. I do not need gas. I don't think it's time to sleep yet. Nope, but I will need to sleep before I finish this job. Apparently time remaining on this job is 23 hours, and I can drive for six more hours. So I will drive until either I get sleepy or run out of gas, and uh, and I'll stop at that point. Not the video, but you know, to rest. I've never rested in this game, so I sure hope it tells me how, because I don't know how. <laughs> So far, it's done a pretty good job about telling me how to do things that I don't know how to do, though. I wish I knew how to tell what I was hauling. 0% damage. Toys. Oh, I'm hauling toys. Uh, restock. Sell plan. They paid me 15,000 nearly to do it. 15,000 euros. That's, uh... Yeah, that'd be about 20,000 US almost. No, not quite. Not quite. More like 13. But if they're paying me 15, 18, that was what I was going to say. 18,000 US. I've learned uh, a little bit about exchange rates. Euros really aren't that much compared to US dollars. I mean, they are. They're more. But, uh oh. Speeding offense. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so now I'm starting to get tickets. Uh, which is a thing, but whatever. I don't know what the speed limit is out there here. Um, turn my lights on. I don't want to get, you know, a, driving through a tunnel with no lights offense. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was talking about. I, I got a speeding ticket and I got a little scared about that. I'm going to pass it on the truck though and see if I can get another speeding offense though. That's what we're going to try to go for here. Another one. And another one. So, yeah. Oh, exchange rates. Right. British pounds. Those are where it's at. Uh, it takes 1.5 US dollars to make one British pound. So, in most cases, if you ever sell anything online, always accept British pounds. Don't 
U.S. dollars because even after you pay the conversion rate to convert them back to U.S. dollars for you to spend, um, you still make a lot of money. <laughs> and that's a plus. That's a good thing. You like making a lot of money. I do. Maybe you do. I don't know. You should. So yeah, I think I'm going to need this left one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And I did. So at least, uh, you know, I paid attention to the road signs that time. That's something I don't always do. I usually just turn the GPS on, which you can see I've got on the bottom left, bottom right here. And I just, I just go. I don't even bother, you know, care road signs. I don't care about speed limits. I just go. My, my, uh, my way of doing it in real life is I usually pick the fastest car and follow them. And if there's not a fast car, then I only go a few miles per hour over what everyone else is doing and just pass all of them. So, uh... That's kind of how I do it. I mean, you know, yeah, of course, it's the best idea to look at speed limit signs, but meh, I don't want them. All right, so we need to take this exit right here. I don't know how to engine brake. I need to learn how to do that. That's That would be useful sometimes. Not right there. It wouldn't have been useful at all. But didn't actually need to, but, um, but yeah, like I said, this game... Oh wait, I think this lane stays open. Um, this game makes me want to buy a steering wheel, just so it can give me a more real effect, you know. I was watching a guy on YouTube who, who played this, and he had a steering wheel, and, uh, you know, the steering wheel, instead of doing these sudden movements like this that I'm doing, it would slowly move. You could tell how he was doing it with, with the wheel. It was so realistic, and you know, he could hold it there in one position or he could let it go really fast and it followed his every movement. And I just, that would be, which I guess is what steering wheels are supposed to do. <laughs> but uh, that would be so much better than using W, A, S, and D on the keyboard here. I don't really worry about keeping it in the lines, as you might have noticed. Um, my main goal at this point is getting there and alive and um, not killing this car next to me. That's a goal, to not kill cars next to me. And I lost my speed, thanks a lot, car. When I catch you, I'm going to run you over. Actually, it wasn't his fault. So, yeah. So, this is Euro... Tr Euro Truck Simulator, I think it's called. Two, it's the second one, not the first one. Um, graphics are okay. This is, a, this is a stock game. I understand that it's modifiable and there's mods you can put in it. Um, I don't particularly like... I mean, you know, I like mods, but I don't particularly like my game being unstable, so I haven't chanced modding it yet. I'll wait and see where that, you know, how it ends up, how it turns out. I need to make it The engine brake would be useful by right now. I'm going to engine brake there a little bit. Slow it down. I need to again. to just keep up with these cars and these curves because I learned not only in the curves but in the rain in the curves this thing will jack me up easily. I did it four times in my last trip and I was like okay this is not I got a truck with a merge in front of me it looks like not maybe this thing stays in the case I will move over I'm going barely catch you So I got 220 miles to go, so we're over halfway done with this trip. We got a five hours and 42 minutes left, apparently. Oh, okay. It's only gonna take me five hours to get there, but this right here tells me that I can do it within 21 hours. My driver can last four hours 57 more minutes before he dies out. So I will have to stop at some point. But the I realized it was a little fast there. <laughs> but yeah, I got plenty of time to deliver it. It's not going to be late. I think we realized that. Hey, look what I'm going to do. If I can catch my speed back up. <laughs> there was no open lane, so I felt the need to go around it, and I'm going to use this lane right here. Do -do 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 
hope there's not a cop pulled over up here. That would suck, wouldn't it? This game doesn't have cops, so that's actually a plus. Right. I've only done that a couple of times in real life. I will not lie. Okay, only at once. Um <laughs> I was you know what? When people can't drive and they piss you off, you sometimes feel like you need to go around. And those particular times I felt like I need to go around. <laughs> Thinking about a steering wheel, I don't know, I don't really have a lot of money to waste on it right now. The next computer accessory I need to buy is a computer chair, because this one is a total piece of wood. Um, so if you guys, I don't know, if you guys know of a good steering wheel that's cheap, I might consider it. But, um, I definitely don't want to, I don't want to spend too much, and then, this game's graphics and overall usability. Um, it was only 500 megs, so that's a thing. I was really surprised I expected it to be a couple of gigs. Uh, I actually expected it to be anywhere from 3 to 4, and it was only half of a gig. So that was a thing. I'm considering whether I can just drive through, like even though it says your, your guy's going to get tired and need to rest, I'm considering whether I could drive through and deliver it because it's only just a few minutes after him actually needing to stop and rest. It'd be interesting. I may try it. Who knows? If he starts yawning, I'm gonna get scared though and pull over. <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. You do have to manually control your windshield wipers. I thought they were automatic until I couldn't see. <laughs> it just it just progressively gets worse. So yeah. I decided to start using them. Oh, I need over. I don't plan on getting off there. One thing I learned about this game is if you miss your turn, do everything possible not to miss your turn. Because um, there are times when you can drive for hours and not be able to turn around. I drove, um, I drove for a good while because I missed my turn and ended up finding an open section in the, me in the middle of the interstate. And I stopped on the right side and waited for traffic to clear, and I went through it. And I'm sure that's illegal. Pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, just, tr just do your best not to miss your turn. That's what I have to say. Got three hours, 34 minutes left on the trip. 138 miles. That guy's probably getting tired about now. Oh, he's got three hours, 25 minutes. You know what? We may actually make this, because it's one minute less to our destination. Well, I actually just went up by one, but it's exactly the time to our destination that it is the time he's going to need to go to sleep. I don't know. stay hammered down on the throttle and see what happens. Because last time I didn't even need to slow down. Oh yeah. No problems. That way I didn't lose much speed. 
doing this. Got right back home. Berlin. Berlin, I've heard of that. I don't know where it's at. Berlin. Something makes me want to think it's in Spain, but it's not in Spain. I wouldn't think. I don't know where it's at. If this were American Truck Simulator, I could tell you exactly where I'm at, because I know all of the American cities. Well, most of them. This guy's going to slow down because I'm coming over. I know most of them. I don't know all of them, but um, all the ones that matter, really. I know nothing about Europe, though. That guy disappeared back there. He not only slowed down, he slowed way down. At 96 miles to go. As you can see, it, this is it. Um, if you ever played 18 Wheels of Steel, it's a lot like that. 18 Wheels of Steel was a little bit, um, you know, you could communicate with other truckers on the road, which I don't think was actually like a working thing. It was just something you could do. Um, I don't think it actually meant anything to communicate with other truckers on the road. So that, that that's that. But, yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to try and chance it to just keep driving. There's a lodging coming up here, but I don't think I need to stop, so I'm not going to. I am going to get over, though. Because I can already see I'm going to need to get by this truck. I think you get a hazardous material bonus if you haul hazardous material, which would be nice. I'm not sure what uh, toys. Uh, toys, I get like 15 grand. I'm just like, what? Uh, money apparently isn't hard to get in this game. It's the ranks, which do they just take forever? It's not. It's not hard. It just takes forever to get ranked up, and then uh, you can't actually buy a truck till like rank 16. And I'm rank three, four, probably be four after this. So that's the thing. But I get the feeling that car in front of me slowed down. <clears throat> he obviously did because I'm going around him now. And I'm now going to cut him off. I love how I got over and didn't even look at the map. I didn't even know where I'm going. I probably could, you know, I didn't, but what if I would have needed that exit? I would have known, I just got over. Gas doesn't run out so fast on this truck, that's for sure. You'd think these things would run out a lot quicker. do my, my vlogs with iMovie. I like to do those with that. I don't actually do any vlogs anymore, but when I do, um, use iMovie. I want to get a new camera. I think that would help me to, to do more vlogs. Because, what? What happened? You're getting tired. Oh, what?
there's no lodge coming up. I can see it on the map, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I know that I don't have need to keep telling you. But yeah, I'm looking at a Kodak. Um, there's a Kodak PlaySport, what it's called. I'm not even sure if they make those anymore. But they are um, waterproof. They're nice little vlog cameras. They're uh, kind of like the flip cam. Only they quit making flip cams. Which, I guess flip cam was okay, but it just, you know, it needed so much new stuff to just kind of keep up. Like, for example, waterproofing would have been great. But instead of waterproofing, they just made a really expensive case that you had to buy. That didn't make any sense. So, alright, so I am really getting tired, but there is no lodging around here anywhere. I'm not sure if you have to go to lodging. I mean, maybe you can pull over on the side of the interstate. I don't know. Pull over and take a rest. I don't know. We'll find out. We will definitely find out. I get that feeling. We're going to know really soon what's going on. Let's see. Wrong way. A little bit of brain processing here. Oh, good, good. T. We made it. Look at what we got here. I didn't get any fine. Punishments. We're gonna go some more long distance. I'm just, this is what I'm working for right now, it's long distance. I don't know why. Alright, I'm gonna start a new one. I'm gonna stop this one. See you guys.